Hey guys, it's Pre-K Place. Chris back again from my office today for another one of our how-to videos. This is going to be another quick video about math. And like the last video, this is also going to be about set making uh, and set counting. It's going to be a little bit different though. So the last video we had tongs and, and some things. So this is going to have some fine motor to it too. The more interdisciplinary you can uh, create these things, the more engaging it's going to be for the students. With math, it's really important to get away from just pencil and paper and you know, pattern blocks, all this stuff is really good, but when you can use new things or even things familiar to the kids in a new way, it's really going to add that excitement to it. So today we're going to be doing set making and what we've got are just some pipe cleaners. Everyone's got pipe cleaners in their classroom. Um, and then I actually just took some post-it notes, sort of cut them in half horizontally and then um, created a little flag by sticking them to the back and then I've got numbers again. I, for my examples, have one through ten here. Uh, but obviously depending on where you are with your students, uh, there's a lot of different things you could do with these. So we're going to take our pipe cleaner little flags here and then we just got pony beads. So just the traditional beads if you were, you know, go to any craft store, just the, just the normal old beads, um, which of course you can get huge packs with lots of different colors for uh, not much. A lot of us already have these things in our classroom. Um, and what they're going to do is we go back to the number four that I had here. They're just going to take the beads, and the beads actually fit perfectly on the pipe cleaner. They slide on really easy, so it's not going to be a big struggle for the kids past the fine motor piece of actually lining up the hole of the bead. So they're going to get that on. It's, it's easy on and off, but it actually stays really snugly when it's there. So we're going to be making sets here. And again, this is a real easy activity to check um, for understanding something that they could be doing a lot. Again, you could go higher with your numbers. You could do addition, subtraction. You, uh, as an additional challenge, students could be building patterns with these. You might give them something else here. Uh, you know, so they, you may give them a type of pattern. So that instead of a four, could say A B, and they have to create an A B pattern here. Or maybe it's four, and you've got to do uh, a certain color. Maybe it's four plus two, and so they need to do four blue and two yellow, and then create the equation and, and, and solve the equation. So different things like that. So really easy to do. I've got some already made here. One, again, 10. The cool thing with the pipe cleaner too is here's 10 right here and it doesn't take up very much room. So you could probably put 25 or 30 on here for your higher kids as an additional challenge. This is something I would probably introduce um, probably as an independent group. I don't know that this would even need to be a really teacher-led small group the first time once you really model this activity for them, but something really cool in centers that I could envision the kids doing a lot of other things with the pipe cleaners and beads too. So another set making activity, uh, again set making is something that a lot of our students struggle with, uh, with that number identification piece, so something that we could always use some additional activities with. So another quick video today, please be sure to like this video and all of the others, please be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Again, as I mentioned in the last video, the goal is going to be to get at least a video or two up every week. Uh, please, please, please give me feedback on what types of videos you'd like to see. Please give me feedback if you would like to be featured and you have some sort of activity that you would like to put here too. I would love to share the more the merrier uh, to me. So until next time, thank you guys very much and I will see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.